Good evening. This is Kalex with Highborn Studio Podcast. We are here to prepare you with much more content on acting. The last time we touched base on acting, it was the definitive guide for acting. It was first published by Alex Eats in November of 2018. We touched base on one style of acting that created many celebrities for 50 years or more. Method acting. There are many styles, but as we go along, I will give you all the different styles and I'll tell you how it works and which ones are best for method act or the method, better to call it, is considered one of the most iconic and mysterious acting techniques in the world. It is also one of the most controversial. The Willard Sword. Contention over the technique stemmed from the influence of the architect of the style, Lee Strasberg. Lee Strasberg, which I mentioned in my second episode, Acting Made Simple was one who actually developed that skill and he took it from a part of his teacher which he dragged and joined to formulate it together fuse it together as one and it works for him especially his vision and confidence and assertion about the art of acting have created a legend of debated acting style which can romanticize his techniques or is as much as befuddle them. Some some will say that by even treating Strasbourg with the attention of an in-depth look, we are feeding a reputation that has already been sufficiently overblown. People, this is the real facts, the true story of guys who develop practice in acting. This method very much a fundamental part of the acting society. Perhaps we can dispel some of the confusion by shining a bright light on the nature of the method. You judge Strasbourg formed. What is the method which we mentioned in the last episode? Brief you. Who created? We covered secrets of the method acting in the second episode. And you can always go back to find out all this information. We mentioned at its most simple, the method is an internal psychological technique that asserts an actor can train them on the regiment practices to behave realistically on the genre was created by Polish born actor and director Lee, who co-founded the iconic group theater and found the first artistry director on the actor studio in New York City. It was founded not by Strasbourg but by Cheryl Crawford, Robert Lewis and Ilya. I talk about the previous episode just a heads up and to show you how much this is important in our ongoing topic of acting. These styles are important for different actors who actually do not find some teachers are fair to them in the way they look. People learn in different ways, different style of acting. I see why it makes a lot of sense. Prior to ski, most acting particular in the United States was considered presentation as superficial. Actors relied on broad and big gestures that codified for large scales, easy interpretation with little emotion depth. Actors were engaged in linguistic and physical troops that clearly belonged to the theater and were not closely related to the realm of natural human behavior. The work of the Russian incited an intellectual and artistic revolution statewide. With curious actors wanting to learn more about Stanislavski, new, more authentic techniques know the system. Thought next acting episode will cover more about uh, the 13 acting techniques and what they mean. So we will deal into more in-depth techniques in probably the next acting or two or more podcast episodes. Who is Lee? Strasbourg sought to create an Americanized response to the outdated first wave of Stanislavski system. Strasbourg, an immigrant who grew up in the Yiddish theater, was fascinated with the role of the American spirit played in the world. The United States had been searching for a definitive fingerprint for 
for its national acting style and Sprachberg felt he had found it. Thus, the method was born as a response to the system Russia. Though Stanislavski quality rejected and discounted his own theory on effective memory, or at least significantly minimized it, the concept had already taken hold in the United States. That's right. Stanislavski ended up somewhat abandoning his own theory and embraced a more physical approach to acting later in his life. However, because of unorganized and non-chronological timelines of his translated books and immediate enthusiasm of Americans, his early techniques were being circulated throughout the United States without a qualification or disclaimer of the outdated nature. Once Strasbourg learned the system, he quickly began teaching and modifying it. Strasbourg sought to create an Americanized response to the outdated first wave of Stanislav's system. Strasbourg, an immigrant who grew up in the Irish, however, the behavior of not eclipse or confuse the intention of his teaching. Strasbourg, who died in 1982, has unfairly been used as a punching basket by many for the woes of American theater. Popular blame dilutes his contribution to the craft and imbalances credit for what you know the American acting style. How did the method evolve from the system? Stanislavski Strasbourg has skill for being able to identify and articulate the frustration of actors with an illusory nature of the artistic work by latching onto the notion of effective memory. Strasbourg offers a tool that could help actors to do their job, whereas he is often compared to Freud for opening disconstruction of the psyche at its related to human expression via the theater. And here is perhaps one of the most misunderstood distinction about Strasbourg method. It does not encourage the crude reliving of experience, emotional events on stage. What is moot is training to identify and consistently replicate the stimulus. A stimulus could induce a similar rush thrill that a life moment. Strasbourg understood the role of an actor to necessitate two types of awareness, that of the character and that of the actor as an artist. Both needed to be expressed concurrent are the key elements of the method. Well, in one word, I will say memories. Our former teachers have decided to name it. To, to balance a double awareness of the character's demand and the actor's expression, Strasbourg taught mechanism to remove unconscious physical half from the act, increase awareness of the world and practice the realistic replication of the actor's awareness. Removal of stress was a critical first step for Strasbourg's actors. If they were to embody the express the life of another person, they would need to be a tabula rasa, a blank slip. However, it was also crucial for actors to understand where they store tension in their bodies and what they indicated were their own life and habit. For example, if an actor carried a lot of stress in the lips or jaw, what was the cause? Was it a specific expression actor used a lot? And why? Another exercise Strasbourg would do was to have his students move and behave like animals or speak in gibberish to shake societal patterns and habits out of the system. Once the senses are attuned, actors sense memory. The method manifestation of Stanislavski effective memory. This is the most controversial component of the method. Since memory exercise encourage actors to replicate intimate moments like shaving, cooking and waking up 
With attention to realistic details, Strasbourg would push further by encouraging students to enact more vulnerable and private moments on stage by focusing on the sensory stimulus of those moments. He would encourage actors to identify the sensation and texture of important personal objectives to see how they handled and treated them. The whole notion of sense memory is to get the actor to behave in a way that feels intimate and non-presentational for the audience to feel voyeurism in the viewing of a performance. This dynamic Strasbourg contended not only made the performance more authentic but also gave the actor a distinct personal grip on the expression of the room. How do I know if it is right for me? The acting map technique, you must find out if it is right for you. And then we're going to know whether you need to change that method or use it since it's so widely used in the United States. If you have a difficulty connecting in the moment to a character's action, fearful that your choices are cliche, which means corny, and generalize the method would be helpful. The technique will encourage you to think in a detailed way and will also trick your brain into interpreting action and objectives on stage with a texture of personal care instead of public performance. For younger or new actors, understanding the method is an essential rite of passage to push through the mysteries of performance and how one can acquire a craft which is repeatable and not merely left to the whims of inspiration. Some related topics that cover this idea are are you a method or a classical term? We spoke about the method technique. In detail, we're going to talk about the classical technique also. And then you can make the choice. And there are many more that will go step by step. I have explained to you uh, in detail what are the difference in choosing method technique or the classical technique. And you will find out. Also, I have another episode that we will cover in how to find your favorite acting techniques, give you a killer performance. All these are valuable opportunities, valuable subjects in order for to get your inspiration in different well-known techniques. How does it compare to other well-known other acting? In other words, how does the method technique compared to all the well-known acting techniques. We'll talk a little about that. In the United States, perhaps because of its emphasis on the individual, Kanslaski's system is one of the most popular and pervasive techniques. There are, of course, distinct exceptions, like highly physical and external training programs. But at large, the United States is Stanislavski's country. What varies are the different denominations and interpretations of the system. The variations will always be malleable based on innumerable quantity of variable because the system is not a science. However, there were some distinct differences in how the system manifested in U.S. drama schools. These differences mainly revolve around the concept of an actor's freedom and flexibility in contributing to the creation of the role. Stella Adler's training. She emphasized the use of the imagination to allow the actor individual freedom and distinction in a creative process. The sensation the actor would draw upon would be constructed in the actor's imagination. Stanford Miser emphasized the dramatic of relationship, the way an actor engages with their scene partner as a flexible source of freedom for the actor's distinct artistic fingerprint in a play of flame. This is a very different type of philosophy, style, and we break it down for you. We touch on Stanislavski, we touch on Strasbourg, we touch another famous one called Sanford Meisler, and there are more. We will tell you 
more about it. Now we want to tell you the secrets in this method. Where can I learn? Are there people still training actors in the method techniques or the system? Yes, the Actor Studio, which is now conjoined with Peace University in New York, is the formalized home of the method. But B, the university programs or conservatory studios, most techniques taught in the United States are internal style that stem from STEM, including the method, although Strasbourg is a popular scapegoat most acting teachers probably utilize and agree with his assertion more than they realize or care to admit. Strasbourg is everywhere. His technique is everywhere. And to my belief, why criticize something you do? You cannot avoid using his techniques. Why criticize? That's just my take. Are there any pitfalls to learning the method? That is the next subject I will bring on. The following points are not pitfalls per se. They are more warnings. Trap you don't want to get in snud in. The first is technique assume a depth of the roles that's written. If you are performing in a play with a particular underdeveloped character, the assertion you make about the character's choice might be more from your own wheelhouse than that of the world of the play. Having a distinct focus on the inner life of the character while also balancing the mechanized creation stimul for emotional method actors can sometimes gain reputation in rehearsal rooms from being demanding, aloft or challenging to work with. You always want to make sure you keep a balance of awareness to the work environment and needs of other collaborators, especially your scene partner. You don't want to become a director and professor. Malia Ben Susan freezes it. A Stanislavskian bottlehead. <laughs> the method encourage a reflective inner relationship between the character and the character and your own life. Line deliveries can be more gruffed, cut and delivered at a slower, more contemplative pace. This can become discontent with classical or heightened language like the Shakespeare play that has a more elevated and vibrant oral style. Finally, in a highly competitive field that commodifies talent with awards and judges success with celebrity, it can be hard to commit expressing your true self instead of expressing the person you think Gen Cetics and future employers want to see. In this sense, the latitude that the method allows for your distinct self-expression can become distorted. You have to judge for yourself. Method. What is in it for me? Is the method better for a film or for television or theater? That's my next point. So let us deal with that in a brief session. Generally, the method is a helpful tool for film and television because of the intimacy and detail of a camera's lens. With directors and cinematographers being able to guide the audience's eye into the nuance of an actor's performance, the efforts of emotional recall can be registered more clearly. Strasbourg himself recognized the power his technique had on camera. It is good for film and television, not really good for theatre. My audience, please take note of these very important aspects or method that we learned. This method technique is quite impressive. It's widened. The system technique is also tied into it. Strasbourg and Stanislavski has created geniuses. How long does it take to learn? Method acting, as with most acting techniques, requires a lot of scaffolding, discipline, awareness and control to responsibly and consistently create stimuli that evoke sense memories is an emotional and physical process that takes years to utilize and practice effectively while also juggling the many other responsibilities and logistics of being an actor. Next episode, 
about acting will cover topics like how can I expect my acting to evolve? What are some acting techniques that complements them? I will dig deep into these areas for you so you can understand all these techniques and why addition is so difficult because these techniques are what you need to know. The fundamental of acting is what makes you nail the auditions. Who are some of these actors who train with Strasbourg or at the actor studio? Let me give you a few names. Marlon Brando, James Dean, Jane Fonda, Dustin Hoffman, Ilya Kazan, Marilyn Monroe, Jack Nicholson, Al Pacino, Tennessee. These are few of the actors who actually train under this method. I cannot stop watching him. We'll see. The devil's advocate, he blew me away, you know, couldn't get enough of it. And there are many more. Just thank you for listening, audience. This is Ibons. We are very careful in bringing you important details about acting. Do you know the fundamental rules of acting, how it evolves, and all the key players that cover in detail, so you can understand aspect and techniques of the game. When you approach an audition, you can go with your heads up and ignore everyone around you. We want you to take iBone Studio Podcast series, love iBone Studio Podcast, share iBone Studio Podcast, subscribe to iBone Studio Podcast on YouTube, and give us all the likes and shares. We thank you to give free ebooks and templates to those who request it. We will help those who seek our help. Thank you and 